this video deals with the nomenclature and classification of enzymes enzyme nomenclature enzymes are the biocatalyst which speed up the rate of the reaction in the biological system enzymes are most commonly named by using a system that attempts to provide information about the function rather than the structure of enzyme type of reaction catalyzed and substrate identify are focal points for the nomenclature a substrate is the reactant in an enzyme catalyzed reaction there are three important aspects of enzyme naming process the first one the suffix of the enzymes are ends with the letters ase which identifies a substance as an enzyme the suffix in in is still found in the name of the first enzyme studied such as trypsin chymotrypsin and pepsin these are the tribal names given for the enzymes at the early stage second one the type of reaction catalyzed by enzyme is often noted with a prefix for example oxidase catalyzed catalyzes oxidation reaction hydrolase catalyzes the hydrolytic reaction and third one the identify the identity of of the substrate is often noted in addition to the type of reaction for example glucose oxidase catalyzes oxidation of glucose likewise lactate dehydrogenase catalyzes the removal of hydrogen from lactate ion infrequently the substrate but not the reaction type is given for example urease catalyzes the hydrolysis of urea lactase catalyzes the hydrolysis of lactase indicates only the substrate name not the type of the reaction these three important aspects are used for the naming of the enzymes at the early stages which which may which may be sometimes leads to the some confusion so later the systemic name was given for the each enzymes according to the international union of biochemistry so the systemic names was given for each enzyme in order to identify the enzymes based upon their substrate or based upon their type of reaction involved the first part of the systemic name of the enzymes indicates the substrate of the enzyme the second part of the enzyme indicates the type of the reaction catalyzed by the enzyme this part ends with the suffix ase for example lactate dehydrogenase which indicates the substrate lactate as well as the type of the reaction dehydrogenase the international union of biochemistry and molecular biology have developed a nomenclature for enzymes that is the ec number for each enzyme each enzyme is described by a sequence of four numbers preceded by ec the first number classifies the enzymes based on its mechanism ec number enzymes are classified into six different groups according to the reaction being catalyzed the nomenclature was determined by the enzyme commission in 1961 hence all enzymes are assigned an ec number the with the latest update having occurred in 1992 the classification does not take into account amino acid sequence that is homology protein structure or chemical mechanism the each enzymes are assigned by the four digit number that is ec number for example a b c d where a is the class b is the subclass c is the sub subclass and d is the sub sub subclass <coughs> the b and c digit describe the reaction <coughs> while the d digit used is used to distinguish between different enzymes of the 
same function. <coughs> based on the actual substrate in the reaction. Example, alcohol NAD plus oxidative reductase. Its easy number is 1, 1, 1 and 1. <coughs> Next, we will see about the classification of enzymes. Still now we have seen about the nomenclature of enzymes. <coughs> there are the enzymes are classified into <coughs> six classes. Number one, first one, oxidoreductases. <coughs> Second one, transferases. Third one, hydrolysis. Fourth one, lyases. Fifth one, isomerases. And sixth one, ligases. These are the general classification of the enzymes. First one, oxidoreductases. EC number one, that is oxidoreductases is the first type of the enzyme which catalyzes the transfer of hydrogen or oxygen atom or electrons from one substrate to another, also called oxidases, dehydrogenases or reductases. Note that since these are redox reaction, an electron donor or acceptor is also required to complete the reaction. For example, in this reaction, there is conversion of lactate to pyruvate in presence of the enzyme lactate dehydrogenase. Here, lactate is the red substrate in which NAD plus is act as a electron acceptor that is from the reduced form of the lactate, hydrogen is transferred to NAD plus and which converted to pyruvate and NAD plus is converted to NADH by accepting the electron. Second type is the transferases. EC, it's a main class EC number is 2. Transferases catalyzes the group of the transfer reaction excluding oxidoreductases which transfer hydrogen or oxygen and or EC1. These are of the general form that is A, AX plus B is converted to Bx plus A. For example, in the reaction conversion of glucose to glucose 6 phosphate, if uh, glucose plus ATP is involved in the reaction, from the ATP dipole, two phosphate groups are transferred to the, one phosphate group is transferred to the glucose. As a result, glucose is converted to glucose 6-phosphate and ATP is converted to ADP. This reaction is catalyzed by the transferase enzyme hexokinase. And third type is the hydrolysis. Its EC number main class, EC number main number is 3. Hydrolysis catalysis the hydrolytic reaction includes lipase, esterase, peptidase, proteases. These are of the general form of the hydrolysis enzyme that is AX plus water molecule is converted to XOH plus AHA and during this reaction the bond present between the A and the X is cleaved with the help of the water so this is the type of the hydrolysis process the hydrolysis process was hydrolyzed by the enzyme or catalyzed by the enzyme hydrolysis for example, in the reaction maltose is converted to uh, glucose, 2 moles of glucose in presence of water molecule. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme maltase. So, the double bond, this glycosidic bond which is uh, present between the two glucose units is cleaved by the action of the enzyme maltase and 
these two glucose molecules are converted to these two glucose molecules are converted to monomer by the action of the enzyme maltase in presence of water molecule and fourth type is the lyases lyases catalyzes non hydrolytic removal of functional group from the substrate often creating a double bond in the product or the reverse reaction is that is addition of function group across the double bond It includes the decarboxylases and aldolases in the removal direction and the synthesis uh, synthase in the addition direction that is the uh, this is uh, the lyases enzyme catalyze also involved in the either cleavage process or addition process in cc number main class number is 4 um, in, in this pro addition or cleavage in the uh, breakdown of bond is takes place without the water molecule for example the uh, enzymes decarboxylases and aldolases involved in the removal of the uh, group the synthase enzyme involved in the synthetic process that is addition direction for example the conversion of fumarate to malate in <coughs> the bond present in the fumarate is cleaved and converted to malate next to type is the isomerase isomerase as are the enzyme which catalyzes the isomerization reactions including racemization and cis trans isomerization example the conversion of 3 phosphoglycerate to 2 phosphoglycerate by the phosphoglycerobutase and sixth type is the ligase enzyme ligase is that catalyzes the synthesis of various bonds coupled with the breakdown of energy containing substrates usually atp example the conversion of pyruvate to oxaloacetate in presence of pyruvate carboxylase in this reaction atp donates the energy for the formation of the bond this uh, slide shows the summarization of the different types of the uh, enzymes and its ec number ec number 1 indicates the oxidoreductase enzyme which involved in the oxidation and reduction reaction and uh, for example dehydrogenase and oxidase enzyme ec number 2 represents the uh, transferase enzyme which, uh, which involved in the transfer of a functional group from one substrate to another for ex for example transaminase kinase or belongs to this group and the third type is the hydrolysis it cc the main uh, number is 3 uh, which involved in the formation of two products from a substrate by hydrolysis example lipase amylase and peptidase and ec number 4 indicates the main class lyases which involved in the non hydrolytic cleavage or formation of the bond between the two sub state for example decarboxylase enzyme and fifth one is the isomerase enzyme in this isomerase enzyme main number is indicated by the 5 in the intra which involved in the intramolecular rearrangement that is isomerization changes within a single molecule example isomerase butase and ec number 6 is uh, indicate the uh, ligase enzyme which involved in the jo joining of the two uh, substrate in presence of the atp molecule for example synthetase enzyme in this enzyme involved in the formation of the bond between the either carbon atom and oxygen atom or carbon uh, sulfur atom carbon nit uh, nitrogen atom on or carbon and carbon bonds are formed with the help of the atp in presence of the ligase enzymes for example synthetase can we predict the function of the following enzymes for example cellulase amino l amino acid oxidase sucrase maltase and succinate dehydrogenase the cellulose enzyme the answer are the the cellulose enzyme catalyzes the hydrolysis of cellulose 
Likewise, L-amino acid oxidase catalyzes the oxidation of L-amino acid. Sucrase involved in the catalytic process, idolytic process of the disaccharide sucrase, sucrose. Maltase catalyzes the hydrolysis of the disaccharide maltose. Succinate deinogenase catalyzes the removal of hydrogen atom from the succinate. So these are the answer for these uh, enzymes. That's all about the classification and nomenclature of the enzymes. Thank you.